AK. Let's continue. Um, I wanted to check out the cemetery here. You cannot enter through the main gate, but there is a way to enter. It's a little hidden. Behind a lot of junk. Fear them. Okay, so this is spooky, isn't it? You cannot enter those crypts or tombs, whatever they are. Listen to the to the sounds here. All right, this the the one is the howling that the Sabbat guys do. But there's also a, a deep grumbling voice or noise, which is really terrifying, actually. Like like the zombie, like a zombie um, that is uh, groaning or mo moaning. This one. I mean, it could uh, actually just be the wind. Who knows? <laughs> and the other thing, of course, could be a real wolf. The howl. So we've got moaning and howling. That's a crypt. But I do not want to enter there yet. Let's check this house out here. Before we enter here, let's make a save. Oops. Hey, hey guy, I just teleported. Anything in here? All dressed in black like so many in this game. Oh, there, Slick. I want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. So, there are zombies here, huh? Why would you think I was a zombie? Who else would be waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is... Romero? Exactly keep people As from getting in. George in. Romero? Although that is part of my job. No. You see... I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. Yeah, of course. Dawn of the Dead, created by George Romero, Romero who died just, uh, f well, recently almost, like a few months ago, years, one, two years ago. I don't know. Something like that. Well, he's iconic. And yeah, do you recogn recognize them? The voice, by the way, of this guy. This is the uh, guy from the who called on called in at the radio show when the Deb of Night was talking about uh, addressed him as uh, was talking about night owls, and he said he had a had a job at a power plant or something. What do you mean? See, it's like this every night around this time for the past. Oh, several months now, the dead have been getting up with an itch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. <coughs> Nobody knows why, but they're working on it. Till they figured out, they needed a volunteer to patch the problem, and I stepped forward. Problem temporarily solved, the Baron's happy, I get to shoot zombies, you know, so and guarantee I get my blood for another month. Yeah. I've carved out a nice niche. So, R Romero is a ghoul. <laughs> so, all you do is shoot zombies? Shoot them, blow them away, frag them, whatever the situation calls for. Sometimes I throw in chopping and dicing, just to mix it up. So, what's causing the zombies to rise? Who knows? Vampire necro hoodoo, <laughs> toxic waste, solar <laughs> radiation. The important part is, 
They continue to rise up, and I get to put them down. Everybody's a winner. Sounds like fun. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. <clears throat> the stiffs around here, you stiffs. see asshole celebrities, too. <laughs> Bonus. Bonus. I love my job, what can I say? By the way, hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave, or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time these goths snuck in? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, didn't we also see his name on some, what was it, medical record? On, uh, uh, in the PC, PC of, I don't know, or was it the crime pewter of Arthur Kilpatrick? No, I don't think so. Maybe, uh, I don't really remember where it was, I think we did. Anyway, what's in it for me? Let's see, if you can't shoot straight, I can probably fix that. And I've got quite the arsenal. I can probably let one piece go. We'll work something out when I get back. What do I have to do? So maybe he will improve my skill. Uh, like, firearm skill. What do I have to do? I'll be back in about five minutes. If you should see any zombies in that time, you need to put them down. Now, they're dead. So you're either gonna have to hack them up good, Shoot him in the head. Just don't let him bite you. Ah, I'm a vampire. I can deal with that. We already encountered zombies. Why? Do you turn into a zombie if they bite you? No. Just hurts like a bitch. <laughs> Alright, I'll take over. But you'd better come back in five minutes or I'm leaving. Fantastic. Only one rule. Nothing gets out. Keep him away from the front and back gates. Here, this might come in handy. Back in five. So yeah, there are two gates which we have to guard. Got it, goodbye. Let's save here. Oh, uh, cannot save while well in cutscene, alright. Now I can. And let's have some fun. There's one. Let's check out the other gate. Man, I do have hope we have enough blood for this. I mean, I do have blood packs. If push comes to shove. So far, it's looking good. The transformation also takes a second. I have to consider that. I mean, what is it? Like two punches? Two or three punches? And they're dead? I mean, like really dead? Still four minutes to go. No, hang on. I'm still good. So this takes four punches then. This is, by the way, a really difficult mission. All right. What's happening here? Ugh. Stop slowing me down, goddammit. Okay, let's clear the gate. And we need to hurry up there. Three minutes still to go. And uh, probably rattling at the gate on top. I think I am a little slower as a bat. Could that be right? He's, he has that hopping motion. Get away from the gate, damn it. Uh, 
some of them die like instantly. Two and a half minutes, man. This is intense. They just splatter. Okay, let's go back down. Move it. Two minutes. Hmm. saying much but as I've said this is really difficult and up again we go mm. I kind of need some more blood I guess Out of my way! Shoo! Away with you! One minute. I think we can do this. Protein is a very good discipline, if you ask me. Well, that is an as long as it's working. Oh boy, are they at the other gate already rattling? Is that the sound I heard there? I hope it still holds for a while. Damn, look at this huge group. No, what's that? Ah, motherfucker. Jesus Christ! Alright, we have to use the good stuff here. Jesus Christ! Didn't work, huh? Why didn't it, by the way? Man, kind of panicking here. They'd come out while I was gone. Guess that means they're learning. Give me a hand finishing off the last of them, would you? No need, really. Very nice. Whole time I was getting that six pack, I kept thinking I might have made a mistake. Can't believe I missed out on tonight's action. Eh, I'll be back tomorrow night. Hey, let me give you something for the assist. Sure, what you got? Hmm, what have I got to give? I can give you a couple boxes of ammo, or uh, if you need it, I can try to improve your aim with a gun. I don't need ammo because I can't shoot. Teach me how to use a firearm. When you fire, keep your eyes on the target even after you shoot. And uh, use the sight, that's what it's there for. And style doesn't count for jack if you can't hit anything. Keep that clock to the sight crap in the movies. Ah, would you look at the time. Million Dollar Midnight movie's about to start. Tonight's Teen Mummy meets Hercules Jr. You've sent off your face, Ace. See ya. Yeah, goodbye. Well, so did they get out downstairs? Oh, down below here. Man, I wanted to check. I guess they got out, yeah. He said we could try again anyway let's leave it at that well we wasted some blood and got some ammo for that 
Hmm, that's not a good deal. That didn't work well. Well, what do we do now? Well, let's go back to Isaac and tell him what happened to the guy we were supposed to... Oh, we did meet, actually. Seymour's coffee. Seymour. Huh. We could also enter here. But we don't have a reason to yet. You made good time. Hand me the item. Hmm, he didn't have it. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? Kinda. He vanished in the sewer. He muttered something about a ginger swan. Mean anything to you? Ginger swan? Swan? Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. So, he probably lived in that time period. And that's what I mean. There's also the part where technology uh, evolves and that must be cool from a scientific standpoint if you get to experience all those progress, technological, pr all this pro technological progress and you really were there. It's kind of like, well, not exactly like a time travel, hour, but, uh, well, that's an interesting nevertheless. Uh, so where can I go meet this old bat? That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. 20 years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. I see. No. A dead actress. Right. This makes complete sense. <laughs> Everything in Hollywood is about movies and this. Well, that's a bummer that we didn't manage to do the cemetery mission. Or did we? I don't even know, man. Well, anyway, we do have five points. No, he said it was a mistake, so... Oh, well. Nine points for this, and eight points for that. Mm, yeah, I think I will invest in that. Appearance, as soon as we have three more points. And I think... Finance was a mistake putting points in there because Hagel also uses man manipulation and yeah, it's really hard to, to max out uh, like completely different branches of, of playstyle. So he said. She was a dead, she is a dead actress, or was a dead actress. And we have seen, here's a, a database on one of the PCs that contains Hollywood actors. Mm. So let's look for that again. Hollywood Celebrity Database. Jin just won, so let's try SZ. There you go. Sammy Frankie. Thank you, Sammy. Sessions, Tony. Alright. Swan. 
of fame at your fingertips. Swan, a name synonymous with beauty and glamour to this day, was a great celebrity of the late 40s and early 50s. Her credits included such movies as Gilded Hummingbirds and When No Means Yes. Oh well. After her passing in 1954, she was interred in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery Mausoleum. So now we know where she lies, where she's resting. I want to check out the other letters as well. Golden Gary, Imalia, Jerk as Johnny, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Natalia Cross, that Fish. Alonzo Alfredo, Amor, Sappy, Zeffy, Blingo, Captain Bananas. Cool, cool. So, back to the cemetery we go. Maybe the quest is repeatable anyway. I'm not sure. And also, I am not sure what things changed with the patch because I'm really used to the unpatched versions of the game. I think they added also, like here in the club, in, Ash, uh, in Ashes Club, in the Elf Pole, they added a few. Um, well, let's check that out, by the way, for a second. Um, a new. Uh, Character models, I think so. So we're at six. Let's go to three. <coughs> um, I cannot really remember this one, I think. I'm not sure. This woman here is dancing in front of me. And I think some of them were kind of... Some, some of the models m might have been in there, uh, in the files, buried somewhere, but weren't implemented in the game, so they just dug them up and put them in there later or something. I'm really not sure, but... I really cannot remember this girl here with the yellow glasses, ecstasy or whatever her top is saying. And that backpack, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed. This, this woman I do remember, they're all like the hipster crew or whatever, I don't know. Little, a touch of rich and spoiled. And then, and a little artsy. I guess that's the Hollywood crowd in their mind. So let's go to the cemetery again and look for the ginger swan tape. The rats. These are quite some strong rats here. They're quite fierce. Pushing those barrels around on boards. So the gates. I don't know. I mean, there's a dent in there, but wasn't it there? Wasn't it like that before? I mean. Oh, he's gone. So. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, maybe I'll rewatch the video and I can tell from that if the quest actually failed. I think so. <coughs> or maybe the patch, <coughs> sorry, the patch um, made it so that you win anyway. I'm really not sure what's happening here now at the moment. This is creepy. Those ma mausoleums or crypts are always creepy, right? It's very quiet and 
full of dead people. Will they rise to devour you? You never know. There's always a slight chance. <laughs> Bones strewn on the floor. This is a little careless, isn't it? Horror tape. A battered video cassette. The labeling is cheap and worn. You can barely make out Devil Spawn Flesh Feast 1 and the logo which looks somewhat like DMP. It appears this tape has change, changed hands more than a few times. Doesn't look that worn out. So yeah, this is also um, from a different time, right? When they still used VHS tapes. It's not like that anymore. Nowadays it, this would be like a USB stick or something. Okay, so let's see what Isaac has to say about the tape. Well, it's really weird. He says you can try another he said you can try another time, but obviously we can't. Hmm. Well, that keeps bugging me now. And also we do need some more blood. But not here on Main Street. Unless, of course, we find a single guy somewhere. Maybe that one down there. Yeah, that could work. Oops. And we're good. So this is the tunnel to nowhere, right? We cannot move any further back. It's just uh, a mystery. A world of darkness, of never-ending darkness, which blocks you out. Alright, let's talk to Alec again. All this for a tape? They have this thing called online shopping now. There you go. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a <coughs> feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. <laughs> they look crazy and scary. Those singies. <laughs> Heavy breathing. more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? Yeah, yeah, and I also can understand that I tend to forget this. That was sick! Why the hell did I need to see that? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. So, you think this tape has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. 
It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Where do we find a better copy? Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Smut, huh? Well, all right. I go check a look around. <laughs> the second one is also good. Don't want to want to get your hands dirty, do you, Toda? No, we go with smut. The end of the world. Vampires and mortals will be consumed alike. Okay. I want to go to the red spot one more time. We can enter, possibly enter there later, by the way. Thirteen original antediluvians. And the, the clan found us more or less, I think. If I'm not completely wrong here. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and mm. you've tuned into the dead of night. Yeah, we know that one. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. Hola. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area uh, code three two. You hear anything new about the serial killer? Uh Looks this like isn't going to turn out to be quite a while ironic, to to is it? Treating. You're not like so a serial killer, are you? Uh, uh, insects. Mm, no. As in you uh, exactly. Well, I'll be going now. Crickets are keeping you up, or okay, it's nothing new here. Guns, marshmallow, cyanide, cookie dough, health jello. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, like a twist, right? What he says there. It's like, yeah. Plot twist, I'm the, the serial killer. That's. Well, that's the thing. It's breaking, but something like that. I don't know. Like, Force Wall would be. Force Wall breaking would be when I say, oh, by the way. You viewer, did you know that I'm stalking you? Yeah, look outside your window. I'm right behind your house. Ha! Ah, so you go and laugh and say, ha ha, he's joking, right? But there's a little tiny doubt. And you go, wait, is he? Like 1% doubt. And then you look around, look out of the window. Oh no, he is joking, right? I mean, that's all you need, right? A little doubt. That's how paranoia works, by the way. Uh, you just need a little doubt. And from there, you can go, well, to dark places. Let's put it that way. So yeah, I'm not stalking you, by the way. <laughs> um, smut. This looks like smut. I like this, this hairdo of his. Hey, you slick. Slick? Slick daddy? Uh, ponytail and a little hair missing on top. Uh, I ain't your slick smut pusher. Pusher? Uh, hey, who are you? The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Tell me about this place. The sin bin? Man, we've got filth of every flavor. Just tell me what makes your bits tingle, Jack. I'll set you right up. 
Yeah, and tell me about some of your uh, products. Man, we got everything you'll ever need. Softcore, hardcore, gay, straight, farm, or furry. We got shockers, shivers, self-lubricators, and strap-ons. Chains, crops, and canes are in the back next to the triple ripples. Like I said, we got it all. Sounds like he said that line sometimes before. Sounds like it. I got a few more questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? Hmm, tell me a little about Hollywood. Hollywood? What do you want to know about it? Tell me about some of the hot spots. Which ones? The ass pole. The ass pole? It's just across the street. Some uptight Hollywood club where the drinks <coughs> cost too much and the girls put out too little. Which ain't bad for me. Most of the drunk horny assholes come straight to my place after last call. Tell me more. Tell me about some more Hollywood spots. Which ones? Vesuvius. We got all you need right here. But if you like uh, second rate smuts, <laughs> head up the street to Vesuvius. One of the strippers actually owns the place. You should see the rack of lamb on that one. Hmm. Again? Which ones? The Chinese theater. The old Asian theater? It's been closed for a while. Place gives me the freaking creeps. Seems like everyone's got a Hollywood ghost story, but you walk by that place and look at it, you'll swear something's looking back. Hmm, interesting. Actually, I have a few more questions. Yeah? What do you want to know? You ever heard of Death, Death Mask Productions? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? I have a tape that they made, and I'm trying to find out if it's real. A tape? You mean THE tape? You've got a copy of it? Have you seen it? That's right. What of it? Look, man, get the hell out of here, alright? I don't want any part of that scene. I hear people seeing that tape ain't been coming home for dinner. I don't deal in that kind of stuff anyway, so just take it somewhere else. Hmm. Look, Flynn, I need to find Death Mask Productions. Where are they? Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, <laughs> get the hell out of here. Fine. No, let's not talk cash yet. Come on, you won't tell me anything? No way, man. Now either you buy something or get out of here. Later. So, he knows something, maybe. If we pay him, but I don't want to pay him yet. And there's also the hunter ch chastity that works here. It's a sin bin. Dirty dog. Whatever that means. Slums downtown living. That's, uh, that's an awesome magazine. That's what the titles should be in real life. Okay, we can break into here. We can break into there. And there, maybe. Toilet. So, yeah, there's a peep show going on here. This one is empty. This is the exit. And there's another guy. What's this room here? Another letter? Dancers. Lock all champagne room transactions. CR. Include tips. Report peep show revenue under PS. P Password Sinner. Oops. So we have dinner. Uh, dinner. Sinner and Dirty Dog. That is if we're able to break in here and find a PC. Oh, damn. Maybe. Oh, look at that. We did find one. Alright, quite a lot of different stuff here. Inventory. We don't need a password for this. Play full rabbit. 
video oh new titles by distributor video erotica for couples hazy lens simulated copulation seven lukewarm passion theater the minister's wife petticoat dreams the dowager driver playful rapids hottest penisless sex scenes revealed how scandalously rebelled how scandalously rebelled Oh, I don't get it. A collection of girls staring longingly into each other's eyes set to saxophone. <laughs> That's great. That's hilarious. Uh, Beastmaster. Uh, that sounds ominous. Beastmaster Productions. The finest in fresh faced, feathered, and furry frolicking. Nice. National Anthropophon. Anthropomorphic explorer in search of the wild Madagascar tree coat. Chode? Lady Chatterley Swoofer, Big Game Humper, Four, Furbound, Global Goose Chase 19. Wow, that's uh, quite a su successful series. The Wet Hot Waterfall of the Nile. Ruby Roo in Rhymes with Rutzbucked. Maybe butt fucked. Right. Yeti Felcher. Cool. J Prawn Pro. Ah, that's like porn. Uh, J Japanese porn, I guess. Hottest import features. Schoolgirl Everything. Platoon Tang. Soil Trains. Soil Train Seeds. Mangalicious Androgyny, Proof She's Not 18, oh well, Mecca Punani, okay, yeah, uh, Japanese uh, manga have a fable that they like to put in some mech warriors and, and stuff, giant robots in there, right, like, they do like that, huge creature destruction stuff like Godzilla and whatnot. And of course they do like hentai, when tentacle met orifice. The 2004 and Masters. Well, that wasn't really helpful, but a little entertaining. <coughs> so let's check out Peep Show. Let's try Sinner. Status. So window one is malfunctioning, and it's, we cannot override it. And let's try lockdown. So this is what happened. What's happening? They cannot use uh, the machine there. The windows stay closed, and they might be leaving now. And we can have a little chat with Chastity. That I love when they just kick stuff. Like they kick doors, they kick uh, the slot, uh, the, the the machine there, the device. Uh, they kick everything. Um, yeah, let's keep it lock, locked, and lock file. Let's have a look at that. Dirty dog, maybe. Failed. Let's try Sino one more time. Chastity. So she is here. Chastity's totals 120. Jennifer. Way more. 550 for two customers at once, I guess. I don't know. Uh, she even has a smiley face behind her totals. Wink, winky smiley face. And what about Carrie? Donkey show, yeah, that pals, pays well, I can imagine. Yesterday, yesterday's totals, that is. So she's, she isn't doing very good, Chastity. Let's check out private. Oops. Dirty Dark. DMP, there you go. Um, Flint's personal info. Get out! I guess you just pick, pick
pick up their phone down the street and say, who walks the night with demons of dread? Man, that shit is creepy. This is a reminder to myself never to do it. Unless there's some cash in it. Well, cash or horse, but that's a given. Nice, nice guy. Big John Farm. Nope, that's it. John's finally left the acting side and has begun to produce produce films. As expected, he's sticking to the farm stuff. Alright, he said to contact him at something something. That guy needs help. <laughs> well, at least he remains somewhat critical of the stuff and the, the guys he knows and the stuff they're doing. Sinbin mopped weekly. Okay, weekly. Good to know. That's refreshing. So we do know how this whole DMP thing works now. This guy is leaving and he's going to that vendoring machine. Get some change. And the computer said window one is cannot be locked. It's malfunctioning, so we have to um manipulate this device here. Oh, hang on. It's... Mm. Well, that sucks. Difficulty of six, and we cannot reach that? That's bad, actually. Well, I guess we have to do it another way, in some other manner then. Let's see how difficult this is. Five. Hmm. By the way, nine points. We could put those... Oh well, let's just put it into subterfuge. Since we have nine anyway. And let's save here. I think we have to use force again. Not that we have to kill him, but... Huh? I wanted to draw her out, but it didn't work. Well, let's use the new blood to break in here. Yeah, what are you looking for, honey? Me and you in a private room for 10 minutes. Okay, 200 bucks for 10 minutes. Anything you want, you just gotta make it quick, all right? Fine, here's the money. All right. Just meet me in the Pleasure Palace, the room at the back of the hall. Your time just started. All right, all right. Go back and get ready. I'll be there in just a sec. So, we have her out of the way now. We might refill our blood pool for this huge amount of cash we just spent as well. Well, here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. Actually, I have a secret to tell you. Come here. So this is his standard line, I guess. It's a secret one. <coughs> well, I guess he's whispering, and so they kind of have to lean in a little and come closer to hear it. So, it's probably a good thing to, um, you know, to drink and feed on people. What's with this guy? Uh, he's staring at the closed window. That's okay. Hey, right there. Oh boy. Ah! Hang on a second. Yeah, let's interrupt everything here. 
it's always somewhat close in those boss fights or mini boss fights, but we're still managing to pull, pull it off. She's not that easy. Swords do a, a, quite a lot of damage on vampires. Hey, you can watch me dance now. How about that? To get some money? So, yeah, I think we did it. Four more points. Um, I don't want to neglect Brawl, by the way, so... And Strength 16. Uh, we're getting into really expensive territory here. Let's save for nine points on the Brawl. Yeah, I didn't need your help. And le let's report back to our lovely Venus. VV. Oh, Venus. I'm in the wrong movie. Um, her name is uh, Velvet. Valor, of course, not Venus. Venus is from Confession. Conf from the Confession Club. Mm -hmm. Second rate smut. Huh? Look who's back. Look at that. Vivi. Couldn't stay away, could you? About that hunter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She only makes noises at some points. She doesn't even speak anymore. She's just mo moaning and, I don't know, you know, enticing you. The hunter's dead. Mm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? Probably. A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Um, you Torridor. So see, she's a Torridor. I bet you think you're deep, huh? <laughs> it's unfortunate it had to be this way. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. Me too. Mm. Mm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Yeah, that's true. Don't stop. Sure. Don't worry, I won't. I had a question. Mm -hmm. You know, if I respond like her, we could do that all night. She said she'd say, mm-hmm, and I'd say, mm-hmm. And we could go on like this forever. Know anything about a snuff film? Well, we don't really have to ask you that, but I mean, let's ask it. No. Are you into that kind of thing? Ugh. Another question. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's to do in Hollywood? Mango. Oh yeah, we had that. And me, of course. Another question. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Mm-hmm. 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 Poor, poor David Hatter. So we were on our way out and she addresses us again. Is that one of your boyfriends? That guy who created Coprock? <laughs> who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear. Sounds just like he's guilty. He feels guilty. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? A movie about the game industry? He stole my idea. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. He's writing a movie about the Bush administration? I like that one, too. You know. Ah, uh, well, I don't want to get too political, but not exactly a fan of Bush and Trump either, to be honest. But to each its own. His own. Um. Yeah, they're making another Cher Bears movie? 
Oh, he's writing about kindred, obviously. Yes. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Yes. A $150 fine? A sound beating? No. Yes. Christmas bonus. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. So, you asking me to destroy a head of screenplay? I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay. And somehow, you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. Um... Sounds pretty serious. But what I'm actually thinking is the third one. This sounds like a problem you're trying to pawn off on me. Sounds pretty serious. Let's straighten things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. Sounds good for a couple of those. Uh, the thing that attracted me the most was the promise of murder. No, leave it to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. Attention? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Attention? Hmm. I'll come back with David's, David's screenplay. So, if you remember, there was an entry somewhere about a Mr. Hatter, and it, and it, it, and it involved uh, a balloon, a water balloon of some sorts, I guess. And um, uh, sex practice. Yeah, so much for that. So he likes the uh, nasty and kinky stuff. Or oh, let's say the interesting stuff. Lucky Star Motel. <coughs> Sorry, no vacancies. You had her, the writer? Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're writing. Yeah, you know? like the it's guy on the radio. What I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. <laughs> so, they like to make it fun, a little fun of uh, writers or people who consider themselves a writer, I guess. Uh, well... It's not easy for any artist, right? For every successful artist, there are like, I don't know how many, hundreds, thousands that have failed. And I guess that's part of the process, right? If you want to um, develop and, and get better at something. But then again, there are also those guys who only dream about it and only have vague that vague idea like the guy on the radio and don't actually do put put work into it don't put hours into it and that is a different stage if you will it's so uh, the very early the very early stage so i wouldn't be so harsh to say it's completely that you're not a writer but well it's not the whole thing, if you know what I mean. I heard you're working on a vampire script. Me? I'm like 
looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks. Okay, popular He's very enthusiastic. Me, I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be like, it's going to be believable. I mean, what is a good story? You can criticize any story, really, if you want to. I mean, look at all the movie review sites. For every, even the v most successful movies have their critics. You can, if you put something out, if you do something and present it to an audience, uh, you open yourself up to criticism. That's just part of the thing. And there will always be some people who criticize you, no matter what. There's, well, there will always be people who don't like what you do or don't like you personally, even without no really knowing you, because weird, weird, weird shit sometimes. Because you remind your voice reminds them of someone they know, or your, of your face, or your whatever. Some words you say, some beliefs you're holding some uh, ex certain expression and accent whatever it's very easy to 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 fall into one of those traps and yeah it's just part of the thing you can't be liked by everybody right if you've got no f no uh, enemies then you have no real friends i think right or at least you don't know who those are um Vampires? What do you know about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? <laughs> Good question. Um, it sounds to me like you know too much. I'm sorry, you must die. Nah, I'd love to see that. Do you have a copy around here? Good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Cause man, sure. I've got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. I need all the copies of your vampire script. Hey, man, there's only one copy here right now. I like to keep it pure. I don't. I don't sure. work on a computer. It disrupts the no, flow. You know. That's stupid. Why make any backups? That's ridiculous. If something goes wrong, you just write a new story. Who cares? about all the hours you put into it. Can I hold it for a sec? Uh, no. Uh, I, I don't usually let people read works in progress. It's, it's, it's a writer's superstition. I, I, don't, I don't expect you to understand. Fine. I'll be back. Hatter. Is this a reference to Matt Hatter from Alice in Wonderland, by the way? I'm not sure. So what do we have here? to fall asleep next to you? Go ahead and blow the radio into the... We cannot uh, use this PC. Hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323 KL5. Is, is there anything here? No. Well, let's leave it at that for the moment. Um, yeah, till next time. Bye-bye.